Hey guys, Jamesy Boy here, and this is episode 9 of my bargain video games pickups. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing a different format in this one, I just want to try this one out. So I'm only going to pick up a few selection of games, then once I've showed you the games, I'm going to show you some gameplay of each of them. So hopefully this format works out well. Now, I'll only be picking up a few games from now on if I'm going to do this format. Uh, I basically went to CEX again, spent £5 and bought three games, which I think are really cool. So we're going to start with the first one. This one's an easy one first, because this one is Resident Evil 5. Now, in this one, you play as Chris Redfield and Shiva Alamar. You're basically two BSAA agents looking to investigate a terrorist attack in, I believe... God help me if I say this right, I think it's Kijuju or something like that. But it ends up unwinding that you're going up against one of Chris's old colleagues. Uh, I believe it's Al no, it is Albert Wesker, what am I on about? But this game I picked up for £2 and I will be showing you some gameplay of it and see how it holds up today. And that was £2. Now the second game I bought, I haven't actually played this yet, it is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. We play as... Raiden, uh, it is a hack and slash I believe. I also I also at the same time I gave my impressions on this during some gameplay as well. I picked this one up for £2 as well. It is done by Konami so I doubt we'll ever see a Metal Gear Rising 2 which after when I played it is a massive shame but you know we all know what Konami is like now so it is a massive shame. And then the third game, this is a really old one. This came out in, I, I believe, either 2007 or 2008. This is Frontline's Fuel of War. Uh, it's a first-person shooter. It does have online still. I picked this one up for a pound, and it's like a mixture of Call of Duty and Battlefield. But it's a nice little nugget of a game, and especially for a pound, you really couldn't go wrong. So they're the other games that I have bought. I uh, paid a grand total of five pounds for them. You're now going to see gameplay of all three. I hope this format works and I hope you do enjoy okay, it. Okay, so footage you're looking at right now is Resident Evil 5. This is the Xbox 360 version. It is also out on the PlayStation 3. Uh, I actually did use an old save file of mine, so I do have a Magnum equipped with unlimited ammo. So, I yeah, all right, okay, whatever. But I just want to say Resident Evil 5 is a really good game. If anything, I would say it's bet better than Resident Evil 6 but nowhere near as good as Resident Evil 4. They have taken some of the ideas from Resident Evil 4, you know, the behind the character camera or the collectibles you can find as well throughout the game. Uh, the combat mechanics are pretty much as similar to Resident Evil 4 as well. Uh, you basically play as Chris Redfield and Shiva Alamar. You do have a choice of playing either one of the two, and you, your sole aim is to is to defeat the last boss which is albert wesker i can't even remember for the life of me what the enemies are called i believe they're called los plagos or something like that uh, that might be resident evil 4 i'm not sure but anyway for two pound you couldn't really go wrong for this game would be interesting to know if anyone's actually picked up the remastered versions on the current gen consoles if they're any good or not if they are let me know in the comments below because i am actually thinking of picking those up but on to the next game. So this is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. This game I picked up for £2 at CEX. And this is actually a really cool game. If you're one like me, not a huge fan of the Metal Gear Solid franchise. And you want just something that's like a hack and slash. And it's just an all round massive lot of fun. It's easy to get into pretty quickly. And it reminds me a bit with all the hack and slash in a bit like dynasty warriors although obviously it's nothing like D dynasty warriors because obviously there's less enemies around but i've played about an hour of this and i'm hooked completely this game is bloody good uh, you have insane music the first boss i took on was i believe it was a metal gear anyway uh, but i had a lot of fun fighting that boss as well you can put off sweet combos and you can basically just beat the living crap out of the enemies with your blade and obviously you do play as Raiden, which is good to see this guy make an appearance in a Metal Gear game again. So this is an all-round cool game, and especially for £2 as well. I believe this is now backwards compatible with the Xbox One, but I would still suggest going out and buying a physical copy, because obviously it will be a lot cheaper than actually getting it digitally 
through the Xbox store. At the same time, you do have some destructible things as well. But other than that, this is a really cool game. I can see myself playing playing this all the way through. So, like I said, make sure you pick this one up because this one is a really cool game. And at a £2, like I said, you really can't go wrong. Now on to the next game. Okay, so the final game today is Frontlines Fuels of War. I picked this up for a pound at CEX. And this is pretty much a mixture between the likes of Call of Duty and Battlefield. Although, yeah, it is a first-person shooter. I had to get the aim right. It ain't left trigger to aim. It's actually hitting the right stick. But this is an old game. It came out in 2007, I believe. And uh, so far, I'm having a lot of fun with this as well. Uh, yeah, as you can see, the graphics ain't brilliant, but like I said, this is this game is nearly eight, nine years old. But uh, with this one, you can fly drones, you can ride tanks, you can ride little mini turrets, you know. So it does remind me a bit of Battlefield. Obviously, nowhere near as good as the, like, the Battlefield series, and dare I say, even the Call of Duty series. But it's a nice little nugget of a game as well and believe it or not i actually tried the online servers you're actually seeing gameplay of the campaign at the moment but i tried the online servers and they are still functioning even though it's they say it's 16 it's 32 player online you're probably going to get about five or six each team so you're still going to get some multiplayer in there near about but all in all i picked this game up for a quid and i can see myself playing this all the way through as well for one pound you really again you couldn't go wrong for this at all and it is just thoroughly enjoyable. Now, I don't know if this is backwards compatible via the Xbox One. Uh, I will double check that myself. But other than that, for a pound, you really couldn't go wrong in this game. Okay, so that's my bargain video game pickups vid video. I wanted to do a different format. So I'll only be picking up a few games this time. And I will be incorporating gameplay into it as well. Uh, what do you guys think of this video? Do you think this is a good format to use? Or should I just switch back to the other one because what i want to do as well when i show you the games i buy i do want to talk about them but i, I want to put some gameplay in it so just make it a little bit more interesting but let me know what you think of in the comments below and especially let me know what you think of the games i bought do you think they are a good value for money or do you believe i overpaid for them but let me know in the comments but other than that this is jamesy boy logging off you guys have a good day